Hey guys, Nate Rose here. Hey, I'm gonna put you guys through a quick little, little just movement session. COVID has had us get really lazy and sitting on our assets quite a bit. So we're just gonna do a quick little movement session. This is kind of like my warm up that I do almost before every uh, full body workout, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is just do big arm circles cross in front. I'm gonna go 10 reps, nice and big, full range of motion and cross in front. So we're getting a full stretch on those shoulders, okay? I'm gonna go back, going back, same thing, crossing in front. Just really open up those shoulders, roll those shoulders back. And I'm gonna bring our feet together, okay? Then I'm gonna go forward and back, just like we're swimming. So stretch past that center line in your body. Okay, really open up that chest and those lats. Just really stretch out those shoulders. And good. Okay, now we're gonna spread our feet. We're gonna squat down, we're gonna cross our arms in front. We're gonna shoot our hips forward and stretch out the chest. So it's kind of like we're rounding and then coming forward like this, all right? So we're gonna arch our back, sticking our chest out and our hips. We're gonna throw our shoulders back and up this way. So we're just trying to open up our whole entire body, okay? So we're gonna squat and then shoot up forward, drop those hips, inhale down, exhale back. There you go. Cross your arms in front, throw the shoulders back, stick out that chest, and then throw your hips forward as also. Okay, really lunge them forward. Because we're sitting like this all the time, just wanna open up everything in the back. So two more of those, okay? And two, now we're gonna go trunk rotation, just pivot, rotate the hips, twist your whole upper body, and rotate your hips. So I want you to turn your feet so you're facing the same way, so you're not gonna hurt your knees. Just twist that upper body. Trunk rotations, good. Now I'm gonna go some side bends, okay? So we're gonna be kinda of like in a horse stance. We're gonna ride in a horse, all right? Spreading our feet nice and wide. Drop the hips a little bit. We're gonna cross our arms in front, and we're gonna stretch, lean to the side, come back, cross the arms, and stretch, and cross, and stretch, and cross. And so you can put the other hand here. Just really reach straight over the top of your body, stretching out the lats and the obliques, okay? Cross, reach. There you go. I'm gonna go two more of these. All right, last one. And a really good stretch. You should really feel this in the lats and the obliques. Okay, last one here. This one's gonna be tough, I know. Most of you are gonna really feel this one. It's called alternating toe touches. Going Jack Lane on you, if you guys don't know who he is. <laughs> Guess I'm dating myself. Hands out as wide as you can. Feet as wide as you can. We're gonna go right hand, left toe. Come all the way back up. Left hand, right toe, all the way back up. Try to keep the legs straight. Stretch out those hamstrings. Loosen up those hips. Should be a nice stretch on those hamstrings. You're really gonna feel when you come out of the bottom. And try to keep your back straight. Drop those hips. Try to get to down to touch your toe. I know it might be a little tough. If you can't touch your toe, go down to your knee. Try to get the legs straight. You're really loosening up those hamstrings. And stretching out those glute hamstring tie-ins because we're sitting on those assets quite often, right? Let's go two more. Keep those legs straight. Last one. Good, okay, for now, just to kind of finish it off, we're just gonna loosen up the upper neck, okay? We're just gonna stretch out the traps, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is you're just gonna look left and right, okay? Look left, right, two, and three, four, and five. Now we go ear to shoulder. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that warm-up session. I'll post some stuff down below for you.